Hey, hello guys, welcome back. This is the another question of Python which was asked in the recent interview. I gave one interview in the Predipage company and this question was asked there. So I thought to make a video. Before we do that, I would like to introduce my recent course that is Databricks Certified Data Engineer Zero to Hero course. Okay, here you can see uh, we, I will be you know covering Spark architecture, Databricks UI features, manipulation of data using PySpark, Spark optimization method, Delta Lake architecture, batch processing, streaming processing, Unity catalog, utilities and framework, Delta Life tables, and Gen AI LLM POC. The course will be fully updated by 15th of June. So I would request if you are interested, if you have already watched my playlist of you know Databricks playlist, right? And if you liked it, then annual in it you will learn a lot from this course not only the architecture wise mainly you know how me what type of code we should write in a day-to-day -day, uh, you know work right and you can see total 93 or close to 100 sessions will be covered it means 100 topics will be covered and till now i have uploaded one two three three videos i have um, uploaded and you can see 54 minutes is total like you know close to one hour so when i upload around 90 videos then I mean, it's going to be you know, around 20, 30 hours of content, right? Maybe more than that. So I would request to enroll into it. Chalo, let's go back to the course. Not course, the question. So question saying that uh, find uh, strings and arms or not. So what does it mean is that, you know, we are giving two strings, string one, string, string two. So you can see ABC and BCA. So what they have done in, in string two, they have you know, swap the numbers, right? Like that. Also, the numbers swap the alphabets. You know, uh, the rearrange the numbers or the alphabets, right? Now I need to understand. I, I, I need to tell whether these these two are anagrams or not. Means these two are equals or not. For that, you know, in a simple way, what you can do, you can sort it. You, you can sort these two strings, and you know, you, then you can find the solution. Let's say I can write here def f underscore anagram something like that. I can make it underscore one. And str1 this is str comma str2 comma colon str so what does it mean is that it takes you know, one parameter which is type of string and another parameter which is type of string like that you know and then here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try I'm gonna just you know uh, write here if and what I'll do I will sort it I will use a sorted function right and here I will pass str1 is equal to is equal to str not str sorted of str2 right and if both are equal then what i can say i can say return yes else return no like that i can do right and i have to call this function so i'll just copy this function and print print this to this str one comma str two right and i have to run this so first i'll save it i'll save it and then go to run where is that option run python you can say it returns yes right very good very good now if i change it to you know uh, let's say AD, ADC then it will fail right it will say no right now this is the first method another method would be you know to do a counter I mean or to I mean via hashing hashing way right hashing method so what I can do I can just make it like this and you know I will call here I will use collection and I will use here counter from collection I will use counter so what does what this counter does is you know it it will it will count the uh, you know it will count the uh, number of times alphabet return I mean alphabet you know use like you know you can see we have a so a returns like one time b returns one time c returns likewise you know it will do for the second string and then we can check whether both should be equal or not if it is not equal then I will say it is no otherwise it is yes right so you know I already copied it and here I will use counter here also I will use counter and those guys who do not know counter so don't worry I'll just tell you 
okay and here instead of this i will use here two <coughs> right again let me do it it returns as no right and if i make it b then you can say it returns yes right so let me just tell you also how this you know counter work works so if i do like like this if i write here print counter of uh, string one right and if i try to hit the run button we can see it returns like this a one b one occurrence of each alphabet right i hope that you understood it and uh, please if you are interested to join the course you can join it the i have already shared with the coupon code right and uh, it will be covered if it, it it will be completed by end of this month or maybe till 15 june so don't worry everything will be covered over here i hope that you are liking these things and i will be uploading more videos like that thank you bye bye